Hamster Hamsters are rodents, order rodentia, belonging to the subfamily Chrysotiny, which contains 18 species classified in seven genera. They have become established as popular small house pets. The best known species of hamster is the golden or Syrian hamster, Mesocrachetus auratus, which is the type most commonly kept as pets. Other hamster species commonly kept as pets are the three species of dwarf hamster, Campbell's dwarf hamster Fidopus campbelli, the winter white dwarf hamster, Fidopus sungorus, and the Robarovsky hamster, Fidopus Robarovsky. Hamsters are more crepuscular than nocturnal and, in the wild, remain underground during the day to avoid being caught by predators. They feed primarily on seeds, fruits, and vegetation, and will occasionally eat burrowing insects. Physically they are stout-bodied with distinguishing features that include elongated cheek pouches extending to their shoulders which they use to carry food back to their burrows, a short tail and fur-covered feet. Although the Syrian hamster or golden hamster, Mesocrachetus auratus, was first described scientifically by George Robert Waterhouse in 1839, researchers were not able to successfully breed and domesticate hamsters until 1939. The entire laboratory and pet populations of Syrian hamsters appear to be descendants of a single brother-sister pairing. These littermates were captured and imported in 1930 from Aleppo and Syria by Israel Aharoni, a zoologist of the University of Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, the hamsters bred very successfully. Years later, animals of this original breeding colony were exported to the USA, where Syrian hamsters became a common pet and laboratory animal. Comparative studies of domestic and wild Syrian hamsters have shown reduced genetic variability in the domestic strain. However, the differences in behavioral, chronobiological, morphometrical, hematological, and biochemical parameters are relatively small and fall into the expected range of interstrain variations in other laboratory animals. The name hamster is a loan word from the German, which itself derives from earlier Middle High German hamstra. It is possibly related to Old Church Slavonic komestaru, which is either a blend of the root of Russian, komyak, hamster and a Baltic word cf. Lithuanian star is hamster, or of Persian origin, cf. of hamai star oppressor. Hamsters are typically stout-bodied, with tails shorter than body length, and have small, fur ears, short, stocky legs, and wide feet. They have thick, silky fur, which can be long or short, colored black, gray, honey white, brown, yellow, red, or a mix, depending on the species. Two species of hamster belonging to the genus Phidopus, Campbell's dwarf hamster, P. campbelli, and the Jungarian hamster, P. sungorus, and two of the genus Chrysotulus, the Chinese striped hamster, C. barabensis, and the Chinese hamster, C. griseus, have a dark stripe down their heads to their tails. The species of genus Phidopus are the smallest, with bodies long. The largest is the European hamster, Chrysotis chrysotis, measuring up to long, not including a short tail of up to. The hamster tail can be difficult to see, as it is usually not very long, about one-sixth the length of the body, with the exception of the Chinese hamster, which has a tail the same length as the body. One rodent characteristic that can be highly visible in hamsters is their sharp incisors, they have an upper pair and lower pair which grow continuously throughout life, so must be regularly worn down. Hamsters are very flexible, but their bones are somewhat fragile. They are extremely susceptible to rapid temperature changes and drafts, as well as extreme heat or cold. Hamsters have poor eyesight, they are nearsighted and colorblind. Hamsters have scent glands on their flanks, and abdomens in Chinese and dwarf hamsters which they rub against the substrate, leaving a scent trail. Hamsters also use their sense of smell to distinguish between the sexes, and to locate food. They are also particularly sensitive to high-pitched noises and can hear and communicate in the ultrasonic range. Hamsters are omnivores. Although pet hamsters can survive on a diet of exclusively commercial hamster food, other items, such as vegetables, fruits, seeds, and nuts, can be given. Hamsters in the Middle East have been known to hunt in packs to find insects for food. Hamsters are hindgut fermenters and eat their own feces, coprophagy, to recover nutrients digested in the hindgut, but not absorb. A behavioral characteristic of hamsters is food hoarding. They carry food in their spacious cheek pouches to their underground storage chambers. When full, the cheeks can make their heads double, or even triple in size. Most hamsters are strictly solitary. If housed together, Acute and chronic stress may occur, and they may fight fiercely, 
Sometimes fatally. Dwarf hamster species may tolerate siblings or same gender unrelated hamsters if introduced at an early enough age, but this cannot be guaranteed. Hamsters can be described as nocturnal or crepuscular, active mostly at dawn and dusk. Kinnan writes, Hamsters are nocturnal rodents who are active during night, but others have written that because hamsters live underground during most of the day, only leaving their burrows for about an hour before sundown and then returning when it gets dark, their behavior is primarily crepuscular. Fritsch indicated although some species have been observed to show more nocturnal activity than others, they are all primarily crepuscular. In the wild Syrian hamsters can hibernate and allow their body temperature to fall close to ambient temperature. This kind of thermoregulation diminishes the metabolic rate to about 5% and helps the animal to considerably reduce the need for food during the winter. Hibernation can last up to one week but more commonly last two to three days. When kept as house pets the Syrian hamster does not hibernate. All hamsters are excellent diggers, constructing burrows with one or more entrances, with galleries connected to chambers for nesting, food storage, and other activities. They use their fore and hind legs, as well as their snouts and teeth, for digging. In the wild, the burrow buffers extreme ambient temperatures, offers relatively stable climatic conditions, and protects against predators. Syrian hamsters dig their burrows generally at a depth of 0.7 meters. A burrow includes a steep entrance pipe, 4 to 5 centimeters in diameter, a nesting and a hoarding chamber and a blind ending branch for urination. Laboratory hamsters have not lost their ability to dig burrows, in fact, they will do this with great vigor and skill if they are provided with the appropriate substrate. Wild hamsters will also appropriate tunnels made by other mammals. The Jungarian hamster, for instance, uses paths in burrows of the pika. Hamsters become fertile at different ages depending on their species. Both Syrian and Russian hamsters mature quickly and can begin reproducing at a young age, 4 to 5 weeks, whereas Chinese hamsters will usually begin reproducing at 2 to 3 months of age and Robarovskis at 3 to 4 months of age. The female's reproductive life lasts about 18 months, but male hamsters remain fertile much longer. Females are in estrus about every 4 days, which is indicated by a reddening of genital areas, a musky smell, and a hissing, squeaking vocalization she will emit if she believes a male is nearby. When seen from above, a sexually mature female hamster has a trim tail line, a male's tail line bulges on both sides. This might not be very visible in all species. Male hamsters typically have very large testes in relation to their body size. Before sexual maturity occurs, it is more difficult to determine a young hamster sex. When examined, female hamsters have their anal and genital openings close together, whereas males have these two holes farther apart. The penis is usually withdrawn into the coat and thus appears as a hole or pink pimple. Syrian hamsters are seasonal breeders and will produce several litters a year with several pups in each litter. The breeding season is from April to October in the Northern Hemisphere, with 2 to 5 litters of 1 to 13 young being born after a gestation period of 16 to 23 days. Dwarf hamsters breed all through the year. Gestation lasts 16 to 18 days for Syrian hamsters, 18 to 21 days for Russian hamsters, 21 to 23 days for Chinese hamsters and 23 to 30 for Robrovsky hamsters. The average litter size for Syrian hamsters is about 7 pups, but can be as great as 24, which is the maximum number of pups that can be contained in the uterus. Campbell's dwarf hamsters tend to have 4 to 8 pups in a litter, but can have up to 13. Winter white hamsters tend to have slightly smaller litters as do Chinese and Robrovsky hamsters. Female Chinese and Syrian hamsters are known for being aggressive toward the male if kept together for too long after mating. In some cases, male hamsters can die after being attacked by the female. If breeding hamsters, separation of the pair after mating is recommended, or they will attack each other. Female hamsters are also particularly sensitive to disturbances while giving birth, and may even eat their own young if they think they are in danger although sometimes they are just carrying the pups in their cheek pouches. If captive female hamsters are left for extended periods, three weeks or more, with their litter, they may cannibalize the litter, so the litter must be removed by the time the young can feed and drink independently. Hamsters are born hairless and blind in a nest the mother will have prepared in advance. After one week, they begin to explore outside the nest. They are completely weaned after three weeks, or four for Robrovsky hamsters. Syrian hamsters typically live no more than two to three years in captivity, and less in the wild. Russian hamsters, Campbell's and Jungarian, 
live about two to four years in captivity, and Chinese hamsters minus three years. The smaller Roborovsky hamster often lives to three years in captivity. The best known species of hamster is the golden or Syrian hamster, Mesocrichetus auratus, which is the type most commonly kept as pets. There are numerous Syrian hamster variations, including long haired varieties and different colors. British zoologist Leonard Goodwin claimed most hamsters kept in the United Kingdom were descended from a colony he introduced for medical research purposes during the Second World War. Other hamsters commonly kept as pets are the three species of dwarf hamster. Campbell's dwarf hamster, Fidopus campbelli, is the most common, they are also sometimes called Russian dwarfs, however, many hamsters are from Russia, so this ambiguous name does not distinguish them from other species appropriately. The coat of the winter white dwarf hamster, Fidopus sungorus, turns almost white during winter, when the hours of daylight decrease. The Rovrovsky hamster, Fidopus Robarovsky, is extremely small and fast, making it difficult to keep as a pet. A hamster show is an event in which people gather hamsters to judge them against each other. Hamster shows are also places where people share their enthusiasm for hamsters among attendees. Hamster shows feature an exhibition of the hamsters participating in the judging. The judging of hamsters usually includes a goal of promoting hamsters which conform to natural or established varieties of hamsters. By awarding hamsters which match standard hamster types, hamster shows encourage planned and careful hamster breeding. Taxonomists generally disagree about the most appropriate placement of the subfamily Chrysotiny within the superfamily Muroidea. Some place it in a family Chrysotidae that also includes bulls, lemmings, and New World rats and mice. Others group all these into a large family called Muroidea. Their evolutionary history is recorded by 15 extinct fossil genera and extends back 11.2 million to 16.4 million years to the Middle Miocene epoch in European North Africa. In Asia it extends 6 million to 11 million years. Four of the seven living genera include extinct species. One extinct hamster of Chrysotis, for example, lived in North Africa during the Middle Miocene, but the only extant member of that genus is the European or common hamster of Eurasia. Newman et al. 2006, conducted a molecular phylogenetic analysis of 12 of the above 17 species using DNA sequence from three genes, 12 S. Rona, Cytochrome B, and von Willebrand factor. They uncovered the following relationships. The genus Phidopus was found to represent the earliest split among hamsters. Their analysis included both species. The results of another study suggest Chrysotulus comensis, and presumably the related C. Ticola, might belong to either this Phidopus group or hold a similar basal position. The genus Mesocrichetus also forms a clade. Their analysis included all four species, with M. auratus and M. radii forming one subclade and M. branti and M. newtoni another. The remaining genera of hamsters formed a third major clade. Two of the three sampled species within Chrysotulus represent the earliest split. This clade contains C. barabensis, and presumably the related C. sacolibi, and C. longicaudatus. The remaining clade contains members of Alacrisotulus, Chirskia, Chrysotis, and C. migratorius. Alacrisotulus and Chrysotis were sister taxa. Chrysotulus migratorius was their next closest relative, and Cherskia was basal. Some similar rodents sometimes called hamsters are not currently classified in the hamster subfamily Chrysotiny. These include the maned hamster, or crested hamster, which is really the maned rat, Lophiomys imhausi. Others are the mouse-like hamsters, Calamiscus spp, and the white-tailed rat, Mistromys albicaudatus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.